Union Automobile Manufacturers Association or ASEA represents the major Europe-based car, van, truck and bus manufacturers. It works with a variety of industry associations to ensure the economic, environmental and social sustainability of the automotive industry. They ensure that no matter where in the world an ASEA based lubricant can go into a vehicle to protect those vehicles in the marketplace that they might find themselves in. The latest ASEA update has changed quite a lot since the previous incarnation. There are significant changes to the passenger car side, covering the high SAPS area for vehicles without after treatment. This includes removal of one category, A3B3, for older cars. In addition, category C1 will be removed. These have become quite old specifications now. So in the marketplace, there are very few vehicles that truly need these in their engines. And some of the other categories could be used in place if necessary. There's also a key effort from ASEA to reduce the number of categories within the ASEA sequences to enable a simpler approach for end users and also to improve the maintenance of those sequences going forward. ASEA have now introduced two new categories, that's the ASEA A7B7 category and the ASEA C6 category. A7B7 categories, really looking at the older type of vehicles where they don't have a DPF. The A7B7 builds on the requirements of A5B5 category, the category within high SABs and that's likely to have global applicability. And a CSC6, which is a lower SAPS category, follows on from a CSC5, which was brought in the last upgrade. C6 is really about enabling low viscosity fluids whilst incorporating and maintaining low speed pre-ignition, wear and also turbocharger protection. Several new tests have been included in the latest ASEA update because the hardware and the technology is constantly evolving. Examples of this include the TDI, which is being updated to a more modern hardware. Also, the traditional gasoline sludge test, the M271, is being updated to a new test called the M271 EVO. So this is a new sludge test looking at TGDI performance, so a hotter operating engine which will drive sludge performance to a new level. And one of the other new tests is the Toyota turbocharger test. That is really around looking at turbocharger deposits and making sure that high turbocharger vehicles are protected from failure mode. And in addition to this, we have another Toyota test coming in, which is a fuel economy test, which will soon become a major part of the C6 category. This update is driven by tighter legislation on emissions. OEMs have to keep up with that trend. This includes changes in the after treatment requirements, such as GPFs included in every passenger car manufactured in Europe. And with the increased electrification and hybridization of passenger cars, there will be a different set of challenges for the engine oils. The older specifications are only actually active for two more years. So it's really important that the oil market to start the process of managing the change to the newer sequences to ensure that they are well positioned for the future.